Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to take your older classic movies and watch them for the very first time. I start off every single review with what I think the movie's gonna be about based on pop culture. We watch it together, edit it of course because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference. And what the hell do I know? Now today, this movie has been requested since Alien, but has been highly requested since I watched Predator. And if you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, it is the 1984 The Terminator. I do know that my possible future ex-husband, Arnold, is in this. I've seen memes before where he kind of looks like a robot. He looks like robot-esque, so I don't know if this is like a more serious and thrilling version of Robocop or if this is something totally different. I loved Predator and I loved Alien. I know Alien doesn't really have much to do with Terminator, but I just, I love this sci-fi thriller, sci-fi action kind of genre, it turns out. So I'm very excited to continue in this realm. So I don't know if this is going to be like a more serious Robocop or if I'm completely off the mark all together. I don't want to look up a movie What? I don't want to look up a movie poster this time. I don't know because something in my gut tells me it might give too much away. So instead, let's just get right on into this Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1984 The Terminator. Tired of that joke yet? Too bad. I did not realize this was James Cameron. Oh, well, that's fun. Because next Monday is also a James Cameron film. AD means. means future. Lord, we're almost to this year! Had raged for several decades, but the final battle would not be fought in the future, it would be fought here in our present. Tonight. Oh. So, machines. Fighting. So maybe my Robocop wasn't too far away. So he's part machine? This intro is... is both oddly giving me anxiety and somehow calming all at the same time. Is this Ripley's power loader? No, it's just a truck. <laughs> I'm sorry, the lightning is a little much. Is he naked? That man is big Nike. Is that Arnold? Wow, he's so young and absolutely hairless. Oh my God, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger's booty. This picture. Um, um, I saw a little jingle jangle in between his haunches. <laughs> he ripped his hand through this man's body. Oh my God. I would give him your clothes. I would definitely give him my clothes. But he got cut, so are we worried about that or is he gonna be okay? A lot of naked people falling from the sky. I don't think this is what the song meant when it said it's raining man. You got scars on your back, friend. What happened? Seeing the dumpster? He's gonna kill him. Ah! Shit. I was about to say, hey, you've been looking for clothes. Wow, right behind the cop car? That's a, You're gonna steal the cop car? That's a little too bold of a move, my friend. Oh, you just stole the gun out of the cop car, got it. So if these people are coming to the future, is he really gonna know how to work a payphone? Oh, well I guess that answers another question. He's not gonna use the payphone. <laughs> Look at the moped. I did not realize that those had also upgraded over time, but they clearly have. Nice buns. I don't know how cars work internally, so I'll believe that. This isn't real leather, is it? <laughs> you better not, you punk ass kid. Oh my god. Look at this way, in a hundred years, who's gonna care? Being a waitress is probably one of the hardest jobs I had, honestly. Phased plasma rifle in a 40 watt range. Hey, just what you see, pal. What's a plasma rifle? Which will it be? All. Oh. Hell yeah, locked and loaded today, Arnold! Oh. 
Might as well close early because you're not opening again. Arno looks calm and put together. This guy looks like he is cracked out. Okay, I can't wait to find out how all this works together. And how they knew exactly who to find and where to find them at. And why they need her. What did this little, little lady do? Oh my god, what is happening? Why is it happening? Brutally shot to death in her home this afternoon. You're dead, honey. Late breaking news, Teamster representative. Well, that's not comforting. You're clearly not as smart as Arnold. You just rip off part of the steering wheel, homie. I just really need more context as to what's going on here. Oh, shit, she got got! Damn, just like that. Oh, he was having a nightmare. Got it now. I got it. That is scary. You know. The Jetsons t-shirt. That's so cute. Further, further down. And then pull your panties off. Is this phone sex? Hello? Or some of the buttons off your blouse. <laughs> so he's just gonna redo it. That's so funny. What do you got? Dead girl. I can see that. It's all right. <laughs> Lord, the most 80s thing I've seen. Ginger, you see She's not really dressed to go out. She's dressed to go to bingo. So what if he has a Porsche? He can't treat you like this. It's Friday night, for Christ's sake. Again, it's Friday night, and she's dressed like she's going to bingo, holding a lizard now, so. Okay. Uh, I would not just be going to the... Ah! Oh. I would not be going to the movies because um, people my name were getting killed. I would stay at home. But then again, they have her address. I don't know what I would do. The coffee's two hours cold. Mm -hmm. I put a cigarette. <laughs> Disgusting. Hi there. I, I, I fooled you. You're talking to a machine, but don't be stopped. <laughs> I remember when everybody used to do that. Now, police are refusing to speculate on the apparent similarity between these shooting deaths. You coming up, girl. You can only buy so much time. Get it, mullet man! That was not a mullet man, that's a girl, that's a girl! With the fluffy bangs, oh my god, that is hilarious. <gasps> They're gonna kill the wrong girl. Oh my god, you know what, I just remembered that time he put his whole fist through a guy. She really don't hear any of this going on. But it's the wrong girl. Well, they probably don't care. Yep, you done killed the wrong girl. How are you feeling? Don't go outside or even to the restroom. I'll have a car there in a hot minute. Okay. Until then, just get your drink and vibe, girl. Why not? I don't think he's gonna pay. I'm gonna be honest with you, the 80s had some of the best music between the techno pop and just the rock that came out in the 80s. Some of the best music, hands down. Well, that was lucky. Why are we looking for Sarah Connor? What does she have to do with any of this? Okay, so is the guy who was following her Protecting her? Where's the other guy? Okay. Woo! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I thought they were both trying to get her. So Arnold kind of lives through everything. He's not faced by the stabbing or getting shot. Like, See? See? I thought he was a RoboCop looking kind of thing. Wow. That's smart. Oh my god! She's remaining oddly calm for everything that's happening. 38416, assigned to protect you. You've been targeted for termination. But why? Oh, well now the title makes sense. Arnold is the Terminator because she's supposed to be terminated. 19. Westbound and Olympic approaching or So he has figured out how to copy and mimic people. Cybernetic organism. No, he was bleeding. Okay, so Robot Cop was kinda close. Is he changing appearance? 
So he can change his voice and his appearance? Is that what I'm understanding? They cannot make things like that yet. Not yet. Not for about 40 years. He's not from here. Cyborgs don't feel pain. I do. <laughs> oh, okay. And it absolutely will not stop. Ever. Until you are dead. Ask what you did to deserve this. You know what it sounds like to me? It's time that we go back to the future. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what it is, but him without an eyebrow stresses me out. So how can they just open these car doors and just start them without an alarm going off? Are car alarms something that's a recent development? Or a rather recent development? Why me? About time you asked. Hiding from HKs. HKs? Hunter killers. Oh no! Spreading it by laser scan. He's got a barcode? Your son, sir. Your unborn son. Wow, this is heavy information for her. But now I understand why she must be killed. I'm impressed that he can drive and shoot a long gun at the same time. I don't know how we're gonna get out of this, cause how do you kill something that can't be hurt? Oh, damn! Okay, wow, that's a bad wreck. Oh no, y'all are stuck in here now. How do you explain this to cops? Of course he's gone, of course he's gone. Yeah, she's really been through it. From getting hunted to being saved by the guy she thought was hunting him to finding out she's gonna have a son that's gonna save the world and things. He's told you, son. Do you feel up to that? I guess so. <laughs> Not particularly, but I guess I gotta. Ooh. You're not looking too good, buddy. Even for a cyber. Even for a cyber. <laughs> The joke's not funny anymore. I can't even say it. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Oh, no! He's just gonna perform a little surgery on himself. Suture that right up. Oh! Don't, don't even suture it up. Oh, my God. That is neat, but disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna be traumatized from that scene. Before he's even conceived. Sort of retroactive abortion? Something like that, yeah. How are you supposed to get back? I can't. Oh, so you have nothing to lose here. It's just him and me. And Sarah. Sarah's a big part of this too. How are we gonna fix your face, buddy? Oh, no. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Am I gonna, th am I gonna throw up? Nice. See, that's what I'm familiar with when it comes to the Terminator, is a little red-eyed dot. He'll wait for you, reach down your throat, and pull her heart out! God! Oh, is that what he did to the other guy? There was this guy once. You see this scar? Yeah. Thank you. I want to hear this guy's stories! Perfectly safe. They got 30 cops in this building. Well, it took you 30 to, to catch them. I'll be back. Is this where that is from? Is this movie where that is from? I forgot that was like a catchphrase of his. He came back. Well, what's your plan? What's your plan, my guy? Cause the way he's shooting, he's gonna shoot through that wall and still hit her anyway. Watch him. You had one job, my guy, and you didn't do it. So here's my question. If their portal thing is closed and there's no returning, once he kills Sarah, what does he do for the rest of his existence? Damn, you got got. That was quick. You just saw that happen to the sheriff man. What makes you think that you were immune to that? Oh! Ooh, it's a good guy. Wow, I did not think they were gonna get away. So why can't they drive away, like run away, and her change her name and like hide, you know, be in hiding, have the baby? Ah, that's nice. Crazy. Oh my God, is he gonna be the dad? She gonna get you fixed up. Y'all gonna fall in love. Jesus. She passed right through the meat. Right through the meat. 
I don't want to think about the fact that we are made of meat. I know he dies before the war. Wait, I don't want to know. What do you mean you don't want to know? I would want to know. Organized? I can't even balance my checkbook. <laughs> well, don't worry. In the future, you don't have to do that anymore. You must survive or I will never exist. No pressure, though. No pressure. Man, we gotta get on this new technology. We only got a couple years left till the world ends, you know? <gasps> Puppies! Oh, it's their underground hiding place. But everyone lives down there, civilians and soldiers. Okay, I get it now. Oh, these are bad people! Oh, they're very bad people. I thought they were civilians. Okay, great. Listen, you can't bring bullets to a laser fight. You're gonna lose. Okay, that's terrifying. The red eyes is very scary. Now, don't be falling in love with your best friend's mama. Ooh, I hate that. <laughs> You asshole. I would also have chosen that response. I am dying for a shower. Well, you you got a bathroom. You know what? If I were getting hunted by a man, or a cyborg in this case, I would probably get dressed as soon as I could. I would hate to die naked. <gasps> no! Nitroglycerin basic. It's a bit more stable. You know, the world hasn't ended yet. Y'all can go to McDonald's. Editing Ashley here to say that uh, they were not making food, Ashley. They were very much making bombs. It's clear that I was just very much confused. <laughs> You'll find us, won't he? Yeah, well, yes, because you gave him the information straight to your door. Are y'all gonna fall in love? Y'all gonna make little John? Someone. A girl. Never. Never ever? Are you okay, buddy? You just disconnected. So you feel nothing? Oh, so you repress everything. That's healthy. I came across time for you, Sarah. He's been in love with her. Oh my God. Ah! The drama. The romance. Well, I wouldn't just be shoving pipe bombs into a bag that aggressively. She's there, my guy. Kyle, pay attention. She's there. It's not a picture. Kiss her back. Thank you. Thanks. I was right. <gasps> Little baby John go get made tonight. God, so much happened. So much happened in this movie. Ah! Oh my God! Titties. I was not expecting a full-on sex scene. Oh my God! Wow. <sighs> what am I? Twelve? Oh my God. Oh yeah, y'all did make all those bombs, so it makes sense. That ain't the first time tonight she's been on him. You know what I'm saying? Is she just fake dead right now? Could she just fake dead and like him leave her alone? Probably not. Oh no! Oh no! Get out. <laughs> no problem, my guy. I just, I'll go. Oh, is he turning the truck around to run over the other truck? That's exactly what he's doing! Oh my god, the eyeball and the cheek missing and the forehead, that's wicked. That is so cool. Nice. Nice! That took care of him, right? There's no way he made it through that. Ooh, get out the dumpster. It'd be like a little human crock pot up in there. It'd be hot as hell. There's no way he's getting out of that truck. Are you kidding me? Do we get to see his cyborg body? Is that the end? Of the Terminator? I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't know. There's a lot of space over here. We get to see his cyborg body! Oh, hell yes! Ah! Oh, that's terrifying. That's scary. Is he gonna break in there? He's gonna break in there. Yeah, Kyle's not gonna make it, Sarah. Sorry. Listen, you got what you needed from him anyway, so you can skedaddle. Oh my god! The cyborg skeleton is scary! Well, not when it's moving. A little stop motion is not scary. But, like that? That's scary! <laughs> A hydraulic press? That would solve our problem. Just get him right underneath it. Squish him. Push him. Like, push him down the stairs. <laughs> Pop his head off! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Well, that makes sense. <gasps> 
Is he for real dead? No. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Absolutely not! No way! Something I never knew I needed to be scared of, and that is a robot torso crawling towards me. <gasps> Am I gonna get my hydraulic press solution? Movie leg squish him! I get my hydraulic press solution! I'm just really proud of me for thinking of a solution, that's all. Now, how are you gonna explain to your mother? Oh, wait, he killed your mom. But, anyways, I was gonna say, how are you gonna explain to your parents that you're pregnant, this guy from the future that died while fighting a Terminator cyborg? What a crazy conception story. Right. And this is where the picture came from because she's wearing that little, uh, headband, bandana thing. And she has a dog with her now because they can detect Terminators. In the few hours that we had together. The few hours we had together. We still got busy enough to make you, buddy. And there it is. That's the picture that Kyle keeps. It's over? She just heads down the road pregnant to go kick some ass? Alright, well. Let's talk about it. Okay. So, this movie started out very confusing for me. I don't know, the first half seemed like forever because I wasn't completely sure what was going on. And then about when they made it to the hotel room and they was fitting the, you know, I put it together that Kyle is gonna be John's dad. I wish there was more cyborg skeleton. Like that part was really fun for me. Alien, Predator, and then Terminator. Terminator is not my favorite, but not because of the movie. I think it's just because of how it was set up in the beginning. Cause like the, not the jump scares, but like how he kept coming back at the end. He got burnt. He thought it was over. Psych. Skeleton. Hold on. Hubbin's calling. All right, pumpkin. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know, I just felt like the first half of this movie kind of took forever. And then by the time that it got to the real action of like figuring everything out, it went by too fast. Does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense. Out of Arnold. Predator is definitely my favorite because I've only seen him in two movies, Predator and The Terminator, and Predator is my favorite out of the two. And then if I had to rank the sci-fi favorite so far, Alien, number one, Predator, Terminator. A lot of action, a lot of explosions. Y'all know I love that. I don't know. That's all I can say. It's just like, I felt like the first half took a little too long to set up for some reason. For me. I don't know. It was a fun movie. You saw, I saw a cyborg skeleton, so that was fun for me. That was good. Am I glad I watched it? Yes. Would I watch it again? Probably not. I would I would pick Alien or Predator to rewatch over this one. I'm gonna give this like four out of five stars just because the first half was a little slow for me. Good movie though. Good movie. Just not my favorite. But the prosthetic was really cool. That was really interesting. And then to watch his body burn and to have a cyborg skeleton, that was bitchin. But the movie as a whole, four out of five stars for me personally. I hope you stick around, like, subscribe because this Friday it seems like, I haven't done any research, but it seems like I have a pretty controversial movie coming up. UHF with Weird Al. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. I don't know what it's about. I haven't seen a movie poster or anything, so I hope you stick around for that. And then I have Hubbin joining me on the channel for Titanic. And that's what I meant by having another James Cameron film coming. Titanic is coming up. So, like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse. And I will see you right back here on Friday. Okay, she wants me to pet her and then she bites me. What do you want? Okay, so you want me to pet you? No, you want to bite me. Do you want me to pet you? Do you want me to pet you or not? I don't know. Okay, so you headbutt me like you want pets. So I give you pets. I'm exposing you to the internet. They're gonna know that you're not as sweet as I, I make you out to be. Okay, well, maybe you were just having a bad moment. I don't understand. Why is your mouth open? What? <laughs> what? Come on, get comfy. You can get comfortable. Don't bite me! Do you want me to pet you or do you not?